Hey, how's everybody? Once again, so it's a very well-known fact that out of all the gig economy platforms that's existing as of right now, DoorDash is one of the top five. It's so popular to the point where it's succeeding. The last time I checked, which wasn't that long ago, Grubhub. As a matter of fact, I used to drive for DoorDash a good while ago, but the money just wasn't doing it for me. Even with the driver bonuses that they have during peak times, so to speak, of or during the certain days, the money still wasn't enough to make ends meet went. That's why I'm glad I didn't settle for doing it full time. Otherwise, I would have been having to invest money towards car repairs as well as gas, especially if I was driving upwards to 12 hours a day, seven days a week, back to back, every week, every month. And then not only that, but that would have been even more taxes I would have had to end up paying on behalf of all the mileage that I would have driven. Anyway, um, this article is talking about how the CEO of DoorDash, Tony Zhu, um, is laying off over 1,250 employees. And by the way, I feel for those employees because that's a lot of those that are in the process of being laid off. That's their main bread and butter, their main source of income and only source of income. And I could just imagine the majority of those have college degrees. Some of them pertaining to the field they are working in or may have worked in pertaining to customer service or the IT tech field because most of them, judging from my understanding, they will be laid off or uh, furloughed through DoorDash or uh, software, computer, slash, software slash computer designers and technicians as well as customer service representatives. Now, some of them on the other hand, I could imagine that have degrees that may have been working for DoorDash's or at DoorDash's corporate office, uh, which is headquartered in uh, San Francisco, California, may not have degrees um, in that particular field, may have just um, gotten hired on through DoorDash, through word of mouth, you know, through someone who may have already worked there prior to them getting hired when the company, because in most cases they say it's based upon who you know in spite of how much formal education you may have. Anyway, um, the article is saying CEO Tony Zhu told employees that 1,250 corporate workers should, will be let go as part of a broader cost-cutting initiative. In a message released to the public, Zoo offered 17 weeks severance and 2023 vesting as part of the severance package. Um, delivery service DoorDash is laying off 1,250 corporate workers as part of a continued cost-cutting efforts. By the way, that's a whole lot of people to lay off all at once. Uh, driven by tampering, growth, and overhiring, CEO Tony Zhu said in a message to employees on Wednesday, the company's shares closed up over 9.2%. DoorDash joins the ranks of Amazon, Meta, Twitter, HP, and Lyft in opposing job uh, cuts. Tech industry hiring ballooned during the COVID pandemic and has seen a harsh calm down in recent months as interest rates mute consumer demand and investor confidence. It had 8,600 corporate employees as of December 31st, 2021. DoorDash went public at the end of 2020 in a wildly successful IPO initial public offering that saw shares uh, soar 80% over initial pricing. In November 2021, it hit a peak Valuation of $81.1 billion despite never turning a profit. DoorDash will offer 17 weeks of severance to affect employees, which is a good thing, in my personal opinion. Um, although it could be a little bit more longer. I'm just saying um, than 17 weeks healthcare 
employees will continue through March 2023. For overseas or visa-sponsored employees, the termination date will be March 1st, a decision that Zhu told employees would give them, quote-unquote, as much time possible to find a new job, which is good on his part, I would say. Although some of them may need um, longer, I would say, a little bit, just a tad bit more longer to be able to find work elsewhere. If they won't have, when, um, or won't end up finding, it's what I'm trying to say, work by the end, within that deadline of time frame. DoorDash shares are just a down, excuse me, just under 6% year to date. Quote, correction. That's also a correction at the very bottom. Um, and at the conclusion of this article, uh, DoorDash did not previously announce a hiring slowdown. So, when all that said, I wanted your feedback on this particular matter. Uh, what do you think for all you drivers who may be driving for the platform as I speak? Uh, do you feel like your job will be in jeopardy pretty soon as a driver for the platform? Even for the people who don't drive for the platform but may be um, contemplating on doing so. Anyway, feel free to comment right down below in the comment section. Like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, also share both the video and the channel so my channel can end up becoming more mainstream or viral um my videos as well until next time be safe and have a blessed day